Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from cyberfret.com. And today I want to talk about setting up an electric guitar and specifically setting the intonation on an electric guitar. Now there's a few different parts to setting up a guitar. And one is making sure that you've got brand new strings on. Next is to make sure that your neck is adjusted correctly. And I have another lesson on the site about doing that. And kind of the next step would be to make sure that your guitar is, uh, has the intonation adjusted. What is intonation? Well, maybe you tune up your guitar exactly in tune with an electronic tuner and then start playing some chords and notice it's out of tune. You go back to your electronic tuner, check it, you know, everything's perfect. You play some chords and it's out of tune. And what happens is that the intonation of your guitar is out. So if you look at the bridge of this electric guitar here, you notice that all of these saddles are kind of in different places. It's not just a straight line. So the length of the string is different for every single one of those strings. And they need to be different lengths to compensate for, in one case, the, the thickness of the string. All right, so uh, as if maybe you change the gauge of your string, go to a thicker string, you need to readjust the intonation of your guitar, as well as, as the neck to accommodate for those heavier strings. And so um, how you're gonna check to see if your guitar uh, is set up correctly, has the proper intonation, is this, is you're gonna use an electronic tuner and tune, make sure all the strings are in tune. So I'm gonna play my sixth string here. Okay, and that string is in tune. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the 12th fret on that sixth string and see how it is as far as being in tune. And if you notice, when I play the sixth string open, it's in tune, but when I play that 12th fret, it's not in tune. It's a little bit sharp, and that's because I messed it up so I could kind of show you how to set the intonation here. All right, so um, that's how you check to see if your guitar, uh, the intonation is set up correctly, and now I'm gonna show you kind of how to make adjustments uh, if you need to do that. So. You cannot set the intonation on an acoustic guitar. There's no way to kind of move and change the string length, but on electric guitars, you can. Now, how you make the adjustments, every guitar is a little bit different. This particular electric that I have here, there are screws on this side, which I can turn that are gonna move the saddle here either forward or move it backward. And sometimes those adjustments are on this side and you just kind of have to, to take a look at how your guitar, particular guitar is, but there's gonna be a way for you to move each individual string, the, the, the saddle here, either forward or backward. All right, so I'm gonna play the open six string again and make sure it's in tune. Okay, that one's in tune. And then I'm gonna play that 12th fret. And it is sharp. Now another thing that you can do is instead of playing the open six string, you can also do a harmonic. And that's where you're just gonna very lightly touch the string right above the fret bar. It's not where you'd normally press down. It's just pushing, just lightly touching the string right above the 12th fret bar, playing the string, and then once you do play, you just kind of lift your finger away. And what ends up happening is that makes it exactly the same pitch as the one where you're pressing down. Why you might want to do that versus playing the open string, it's just because it's exactly the same pitch. You can also be using your ear as well as the, the tuner is, make sure that those two pitches are exactly the same. Okay. so. If I decide that when I play here at the 12th fret that it's too high, then what I need to do 
is I need to move the saddle back. I need to just lengthen the string. So it's now too far forward this direction. I need to bring it back this direction. All right. And how I'm going to do that is by adjusting here. All right. So I'm going to be tightening. And so I'm, I'm actually bringing this back this direction. Now, if it was the opposite, if you had played the open six string, it was in tune. And then you pl played uh, that 12th fret and it was a little low, then you'd want to go the opposite way. Then you'd want to move this direction and be actually be shortening the length of the string. All right. But, so I've made a small adjustment. Um, I know it's not going to be quite right because I messed it up more than that. All right. So now you'll notice that I'm, I'm out of tune. It's actually saying that my string is almost an F. So I've got to get that open string tuned back. All right, and then I'm going to go back to that 12th fret. And it's still sharp. Okay, so I just want to keep going until both of those notes are the same. And that's how you set the intonation of your guitar, is you keep, you tune the open string, and then play the 12th fret until the two match. Okay, I gotta fuss with that just a slight, you don't want to sit and watch me do that, but that's the general idea, is I play the open string, get it in tune with electronic tuner, play the 12th fret, and then tune it with your screwdriver, all right? Making the saddle adjustment moving forward and backward. And just remember that uh, when you play the 12th fret, if that is that note is too high, then you want to lengthen the string. So you want to move the bridge saddle back this direction. And if it was too low, then you need to shorten the length of the string. So you want to move it back this direction. All right, so that's kind of the basics and how you set up the intonation of your guitar. Um, you know, different factors can affect uh, you know, the, the action, how high your strings are above the fretboard can affect, because if you uh, like to have really high action on your guitar, um, what happens is by the time you press down on the string and it finally hits that 12th fret, you know, it actually will have pulled the string sharp, and so you have to compensate for things like that. You know, there, it's very hard to get everything 100% pinpoint accurate because it's just the nature of, of the instrument. And so um, a lot of times you'll always be fudging just a little bit. And especially, you know, in working with electronic tuners, if you know that it's very hard for an electronic tuner to stay green and it just stays green. Because when, you know, when I first play a string, if I pick it really hard, all right, it's going to go sharp, and then as it dies out, it's going to go a little bit flat. That's just kind of the, the nature, and so, uh, you know, it's a little bit, uh, little bit science, a little bit art in kind of getting these two things together. Just one thing is make sure when you are pressing down on the 12th fret and checking this, don't bend the string, all right, don't, and don't press too hard, because, you know, if you're pressing too hard on the string, see how I'm... You know, if I just play the 12th fret, it's there. If I press really hard, it's way sharp, all right? So, you know, just how you're playing can affect um, that. But uh, have fun intonating your guitar. Have a good one.